How's it going everybody? Today we have a Golden Mate 100 amp hour lithium battery to share with you. This is kind of an entry level Group 31, has Bluetooth, which is really nice. Let's, let's talk through some of the overall specs of this battery. It is a Group 31 100 amp hour battery. So this is a traditional drop in your boat, your RV or whatever, and a Group 31 tray, which may be what you need. There's a lot of smaller batteries out there, but some people really just want a Group 31 to drop in their existing tray and hold down and not have to deal with a whole lot of stuff. So this one will do that. 100 amp hours is 1,280 watt hours. Lots and lots of power will run a 12 volt trolling motor for a very long time. 24 volts at 100 amp hours is a ton of power. So is 36 volts if you want to put something in series to make more power. But um, this is an IP67 waterproof battery. So if that's something you wanna use, you wanna leave it out in the rain, you wanna put it in your boat, it is a waterproof battery, which is nice. And I'm holding the screwdriver because we're gonna take it apart here soon and take a look into that. So stay tuned. This battery does have your traditional battery management features on it. Uh, low voltage, high voltage, high temp, overcurrent, short circuit protection, I did not see low temp charge cutoff on the website. I might've overlooked it. If I did, I'll put a note in the description, but I didn't see it right off the bat. It didn't jump out at me, but it also has Bluetooth. So I did find the Bluetooth app and it's called, as you would imagine, Golden Mate. And it's in the app store. And what it does is it shows you all of the Bluetooth things around you. Um, so you may be trying to find which one it is. If you're like my house, you have like 15 Bluetooth enabled lithium batteries over there. So it took me a minute to figure out which one. It Mine starts with a JL23. I'm, I don't know if I see that anywhere. Yeah, JL23. So there's actually a barcode on the side. Reference that, and that's gonna be the name of your device, fun fact. So once you click on that, you're able to talk to it. It's showing me my SOC is at 99%, 13.3 volts, zero current, zero power. Um, charging, discharging gives you information there, as well as temperature of the different, uh, there's, a, there's a MOSFET temperature as well as several different thermos, thermocouples inside of the BMS that's monitoring temp. So nice, nice, nice to be able to have Bluetooth. I personally would not buy a big lithium battery without Bluetooth. There's no need not anymore. It's nice to have that information. I am convinced. That said, it has your traditional hookups. It's got M8 terminals on the top with hex bolts that comes with it, has a you know, like a nylon strap. But like I mentioned, we are gonna take it apart. And before we do that, I wanna tell you about the weight of it. So if you're comparing weights, this one's a little bit heavy, um, but it also has quite a bit of capacity. So let me help balance that out for you. 29 and a half pounds out of this guy. It's pretty heavy. It is twice the capacity of a lead acid battery. So if you're looking at a lead acid, it's about 50 pounds. You're gonna get 50 amp hours out of it. This one's 30 pounds. You're gonna get 100 amp hours out of it for lots and lots of cycles because it's an LIFEPO4 battery or lithium iron phosphate. So there is a little bit of a weight hit and let me talk to you why. These use cylindrical cells. Not many batteries use those anymore. They are a little bit less. You have to get the voltage of each battery, right? You think you like little double A's in there. They have to stack up a certain way to get to the voltage that you need. And so by doing that, sometimes you end up with a couple extra ones to get to the 100 amp hour but it tested well over 100 amp hours. I don't know, did I bring it? I did bring it. It tested at, um, I think it was 106 amp hours, but we're going off of the overall watt hours. And that's 107.6% of its rated capacity. So that's about 107 amp hours at 100 amp hour battery. We'll put it up over here on the leaderboard in a minute, but first let's take it apart. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I don't do a whole lot of teardown type things. But it's got some Phillips screws along here. We're just gonna pop these out and take a look at what's in this thing. Okay, we're in. If I was a hacker in a movie, I would say that, we're in. Okay, so what are we looking at? We've got a gasket, which is nice. Dude, this battery is like serviceable, serviceable. We've got some goop on our battery terminals, which is fine. That's pretty typical. We've got screws falling out of it, which is fine. I don't really want to take all this apart, but um, soldered, soldered directly on top. We've got our thermistors, Bluetooth module. I was hoping I can pop this whole thing out so you can see the uh, 
the cells, those cylindrical cells. I don't know if it's gonna let me. It's probably bonded in here pretty good. No, nope, it's not gonna let me do that. Okay, I don't really wanna destroy it, but uh, what you're looking at, we got some bus bars. So hopefully you can see those a little bit. There's actually little blue cells in there, and that's what's giving you these cylindrical cell setup for these. Um, I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm not one of those guys that just destroy batteries just, just for the sake of destroying batteries. That's not really what I like to do. Um, but uh, you can see what's going on here. I do like the, the gasket-like material. We'll see if it goes back together here. But uh, nice little setup here. Very nice. Okay, we did get it back together. Uh, that gasket went in there just fine. We were able to get it back together. All is good. I did got two more things for you. We did want to show you this 10 amp battery. Uh, I have one use for this, and it's actually a pretty good one. This is a little tiny 10 amp battery, and I would be using this on my kayak. I actually have a like a deer feeder 12 volt lead acid battery. Yes, I do own one lead acid battery right now. And um, I'm gonna replace it with this one. So a 10 amp battery will run a very, very basic fish finder. Think of like a striker unit, 73 SV Garmin. For actually quite some time, they pull less than an amp. So you can get like 10 hours out of a basic fish finder with something like this, which is super cool. IP67, throw this in your kayak or something run just a basic fish finder with it. Okay, so without further ado, let's put our score here on the capacity callout board and see where it stacks up overall. We had 107.6%. That's gonna put us well, I think in the top 10, if not very close, 113. Here's a Golden Mate Orion at 109.7 is in third place. 107 is going to put us right here next to the Watt Cycle Group 24. Scooch that guy over, 107.6, dead tie there. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninth place tied with 107.6. So a really good performance out there. We got two Golden Mates in the top 10. I may have done one more. We had a Golden Mate way down here at 104.3. And we've tested some 30... 30, 30. We have tested 30 different batteries, and I think there's a couple that have not made the board yet. But uh, nice job there from the Golden Mate battery. If you found that helpful, I'll put links in the description. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.